So, number seven. Make each piece <laughs> tell a story. Okay, so th for me, I think this was really important mm -hmm. because I wanted everything that I had to tell a story. I didn't just want to be carrying some generic shotgun. I didn't just want to have some generic belt. I didn't want my pit boy to just be a generic plastic one. Everything that I did to all of my pieces, weathering, creating, adding bits, it was all to tell a story. And I know that you went through the same with yeah. yours. I mean, when we decided to do uh, the Fallout cosplay, um, it was very much a, we are together in the wasteland. Mm -hmm. That is what we are doing. Um, and and it might sound absolutely ridiculous, but whenever we played computer games and stuff together, I envisioned that that's how I would be in real life. So, like I say, I did the rifle, so I'd be much more of a long-range shooter or, or, or sniper, whatever. While you're in there, I'm shooting him in the head, mm -hmm. taking him out. Um, and I think... When I was de when I was, de was developing anything I developed, it was so you'd be doing this. So what would I need to be doing to help us survive? Yeah, yeah. So I'd got that massive rust burn in the bottom of my pit boy, where I'd lent on a barrel of, of, of radiation, um, which has started to corrode the piece mm -hmm. because sniper find somewhere to balance, get in there and do it. Yeah. So the same with my shotgun. There's all bits of ghoul blood all over the. You know the stock mm -hmm. and the grip where you've you've got you've waded in there, or you know even blood of a raider where you've you've waded in there, you've got it on your hand, it's gone on the on the grip. You know on my vault suit, I've got with my holster. There's blood all inside the holster where you just put the shotgun away and just wipe the blood down you mm -hmm. just to get it off your hands. Um, on my chest piece, <clears throat> oh, there's a joke. I put in a joke. There's a plasma bolt, and the story that I thought when I did that was that when I was in the middle of a load of ghouls, you <laughs> missed and shot me in the chest. <laughs> I'd like to think it went through a ghoul and hit you in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> well, either either, but it's still part of the story of the you know the chest piece that I created. Yeah, you know, and I yeah, think, I think that's important. definitely. Um, Telling the story is really important, even if no one ever wants to know the story or, or ever asks about the story. We went to Comic Con, not one person asked anything about the story of the cosplay. No, but they asked for, about Vault 81. That was yeah, interesting. But, but for us, <laughs> um, our story of being in the wasteland was was our story. Yeah. And, and it was our pieces. So when they're together, they make sense to us. Yeah. Um, but then separately, you wouldn't question them. No, and also when people look at them, it 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 all makes sense. Yeah, you know, it's not just like a random assortment of pieces. You know, as a whole, which brings us on to number eight. It's make, quite smooth. Yeah, it was smooth. <laughs> that was. Make the whole the whole cosplay tell a story. Yeah. So each individual piece on its own means nothing. No. But when it's all together, all the weathering together. You know, it all makes sense. So again, we go back to your, your, you know, sniping with your plasma rifle. You've not just got your sniper rifle. You've got the burn on the bottom from a barrel. Yeah. I've got the mark on my chest from a plasma bolt. So that whole story of me entrenched in ghouls and you trying to help me and shooting me in the chest, that all makes sense. Yeah. But that, and that's two cosplays that make sense in the same story. Yeah, I think if you're going to do like a group cosplay... Um, and you ever choose to do that, I, I think it all, all has to make sense together. Mm -hmm. So not only does it look pretty cool when you're on your own, but if you if there were if there'd have been no conversation between me and you when we decided to do our pieces, mm -hmm. they for me they would not have come out as good. No, I don't think so because they wouldn't have made sense. No, and I think together they do make sense. And I think also it gives for for me personally it gives me a sense of pride. That I know the story of my cosplay, yeah. and I know the story of your cosplay, and when we're walking around together, it just it makes me smile inside. I think that you know it's not just a random assortment. It does. If anyone was to ask, it all makes sense. 
yeah. Uh, but then, you know, you, for you to be happy with, with your piece, I think you have to have done all the other commandments before. Yeah. You know, to to get to to a sense of, um, sort of I've achieved, um, a story, and 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 it's the same for any authors. It's the same for for any um, comic book illustrators. It's the same for any creative person ever. Mm-hmm. Um, they get into that moment. They live it. They research. They they do it all. Yeah. And they get to a point where it all just makes sense. I think that's why our story made sense because we you know we started at commandment number one. You know, we got into that mindset before we created it. And so yeah. as we were creating it, we knew the story as it was coming along. Mm-hmm. And so every piece that we sort of put down on the list became like, you know, we, we knew what it was. We knew what the story meant. We knew what the piece meant in that in that story. And I think that's important. It definitely is. You yeah. know, not... Again... Not all these commandments work for every cosplay. No. So if you're going as a group of cosplayers, as and and it's it's all Batman, Batman related. Yeah. You know, it, each Batman's got its own costume. There's Jokers and Harleys, and you know, and and they've got their own costumes, and they don't necessarily have to tie in together. But the way we created our wasteland costume was, there was a story. Mm-hmm. And I think if if you are ever going to deviate from a um, from a uh, an already created character, this, in my opinion, this is what you need. Mm-hmm. Um, the steps that we've we've spoken about so far. Yeah. Um, remember, it is all up to you. That, that you don't. That these are just for, for what have helped us. This yeah. This uh, is this is just our opinion. Uh, and what's helped us create things. Um, you know, like you said, if if you're gonna if you're going to uh, become the Joker, the Joker's got his story. You know, there's mm-hmm. a background, there's, there's a lot of work put into the Joker's story. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're going to deviate it to a different version of the Joker, then then that's yours to play with. Yeah. Um, so it, it, it can be sent over to whatever you're doing. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I think that, I think that, you know, for this style of cosplay, yeah, you know, for the... You know, the dystopian future, the wasteland, you know, like even Mad Max characters to some extent. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. it, your costume telling a story, you know, just it makes sense. And then your cosplay makes sense. And then you just feel just amazing wearing it. I mean, I felt like incredible wearing it. Was, it. it and I think a lot of that is because we've put so much time into, into all the background stuff, not just the building. You know, we've created yeah. um, a character, a full-blown character with backstory. With Like, we could go away and, and write. The, yeah. You, do you know what I mean? We could go and yeah. write a short story of, of of coming out of the vault, what what we were doing in the vault, the, our yeah. reason that we're out of the vault walking around, you know, it's there. Yeah, I mean, we're an advanced recon team. Well, exactly. You know, we're <laughs> off out... Looking for traders and bringing information back, telling yeah. telling the world, you know, telling the vault world, yeah. vault eighty one. So.